There was an earthquake in the building, and a plume of smoke rushed out of the ground along the cracks. Someone was wrapped in smoke, foaming at the mouth, and died on the spot. The smoke was poisonous, and people ran away in fright. A large amount of dense fog hit, and Duris ran home in a hurry. Smoke followed. When Duris and his wife Anna ran to the top floor, the smoke had already spread to the roof. Duris climbed up to the rooftop with the binoculars. The whole city is enveloped in deadly smog. Without any rescue, the residents on the lower floors could only struggle on the roof. Duris is on a high floor, which is already very lucky. And Duris' daughter, Sarah, is in the decontamination chamber at the moment. Because Sarah suffers from autoimmune syndrome, Sarah has lived in a purification cabin since she was a child. This time the smog crisis came, and the entire city was without water and electricity. And the purification cabin only has four batteries left. Duris and Anna fear for Sarah's safety. If the smoke doesn't dissipate, Sarah will die in the decontamination chamber. Duris opened the door stealthily, the smoke still slowly rising. Duris reached into the smoke with his hand, but his hand was unharmed. It turns out that as long as it is not inhaled into the lungs, the damage can be avoided. Duris had a bold idea. He wanted to go downstairs to change the batteries in the purification chamber. Try to help Sarah win rescue time. But Anna was worried. From upstairs to downstairs, you have to hold your breath for three or four minutes, and it takes one minute to replace the battery. How could Duris hold his breath for so long? Duris thought of a resident downstairs, who wears an oxygen mask all year round, when he goes out. He must have a spare oxygen mask at home. The smoke outside the window is still rising, and action must be taken as soon as possible. Duris climbed down the pipe. Duris broke the window and came to the room. Duris got the oxygen mask. Duris put on an oxygen mask and gulped for oxygen. Suddenly, Duris heard a strange noise, and a black shadow flashed through the bedroom door. Duris opened the door nervously, and a puppy ran out of it. The little dog survived the smoke, but the big dog next to him lost its breath. Duris ran home wondering. Duris gave Sarah a bag of food supplies, and replaced the spare battery in the decontamination cabin. Duris left reluctantly. Duris went to the street to observe the situation. There were dead passers-by all over the place. A troop came ahead, and they led the survivors out of here. But Duris was worried about Sarah and chose to stay. Duris took two oxygen kits from the rescue team. Duris came back and reported the situation to Anna. They thought they could wait for rescue, but riots broke out in the city. The next day, Duris and Anna feel that it is not suitable to stay here for a long time. Without the protection of the decontamination chamber, Sarah couldn't leave at all. They first went to the laboratory to find a spacesuit so that they could leave with Sarah. But the two just got the equipment. The laboratory exploded. Duris' oxygen tube was blown out by the flames. Couples can only share one oxygen mask. Duris ran to the roof. Duris' abdomen was burned by flames. There is not enough oxygen. There was not enough oxygen for the two of them to go back, so they could only leave separately. Anna went home first, wearing an oxygen mask and a spacesuit. Duris chose to find a way out from the roof. There is a length of nylon rope in front, and there are two bags of food on the ground. Duris climbed the stairs. There were blood stains in the corners, and a dead body lay on the ground. Duris hurried into the room, picked up the oxygen mask and put it on. At this time, a policeman walked in the door. The police threatened Duris at gunpoint to put down his oxygen mask. Duris threw the police on the ground, and the two soon fell into the smoke. The cop dies and Duris returns home. Meanwhile, Anna returned home completely depleted of oxygen. But when Anna opened the box, she found that the spacesuit had been burned by fire. Sir's decontamination chamber is about to lose power. Anna held her breath and went downstairs to change the battery. Anna couldn't hold her breath on the return journey and died in the stairwell. On the third day, there was another earthquake, and the smoke rose sharply and drifted into the house. The old couple lay in bed and died peacefully holding hands. Duris and Sarah are the only survivors of the building. Duris is riding a motorcycle to seek help for Sarah. Suddenly a little boy ran out Duris slammed the brakes and crashed the car. The little boy was not wearing a mask, how could he survive the smoke unscathed? Until the end of the movie, Duris is awakened by Sarah. Duris found the deadly fumes were not harmful to small children. Children come and go freely in the smoke, but adults live in the decontamination chamber forever.